Hi friends, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I am here today with a um, layout for Kit Day Thursday using my Gossamer Blue Life Pages kit from August 2016. Oh, and I love this page. I think I say that every time, but I really do. I think this page is really a cute one. It's a Project Life spread, if you can't tell already from my little pile of photos. Um, and I have a couple of different things that I'm including in this one. So I always try to include things other than just my photos, but this one has a really good mix of items that I'm including in the day in um, the spread today. So I have a picture that Kaylin drew right there to the right, and he actually drew that on my iPad, so it was already in photo form whenever I printed it, but it's a picture of his picture, I guess. I also have some um, ticket stubs from when we went to a 3D movie that go along with the photo right above those of us with our little 3D glasses on. Um, I had picked this die cut pack up at Tuesday morning and I went ahead and pulled it out. The only reason I even purchased this pack because it's like a dress up pack, um, but it has some 3D glasses in there and I am going to include them. I'm just folding them in and I'm gonna kind of cut and put them back together just to make them look like they're little folded glasses. Um, and I knew from the very beginning that that is something I wanted to do. So I'm doing this part of this layout before I even get the um, papers out. I don't even know what cards I'm using yet. So um, I was very clear on what I wanted to include on this spread. I also have some photos of Kaylin and I at lunch at the top. We were sitting outside Chick-fil-A eating lunch. I also have pictures of us down at the bottom at a festival at his school, which is where that green paper and that map were from. I'm not going to end up including those on this page, but I had those in my... Um, kind of tucked in with these photos just in case. And then I have a picture of a display at a museum, which is that bobcat that you can kind of see there. And then I also have a then and now photo of Kaylin from um, when he was three versus when he's six, wearing the same little football uniform. So it's a nice mix of things in this, in this layout. And I kind of like that because it gives me some variety. I'm not just always including the same things over and over and over again. Um, and it just, I just really kind of like it. I think it's kind of a cool spread and I like um, kind of the theme of the layout. So if you have noticed in some of the Gossamer Blue cards that were in this kit, there's a few things and also on the stamp set, there's a few things that are travel related. Um, one of them says travelogue and then one says in the city. So I'm going to stamp out travelogue in the city. Um, on one of the cards. Also another card says travel notes at the top of it. And so I'm kind of going along with the travel kind of um, idea, but it's really kind of travel around the city of Raleigh because that's where we live. And these are just different things that we've kind of done out and about. I'm also going to use a stamp that says adventure from this stamp set as well to kind of go along once again with the whole idea of um, having an adventure, you know, being out and about and doing different things. Now, I don't have a whole lot of cards left, so I'm trying to see what I can make work with this layout um, without having to add something from my stash. I am going to end up altering one of the cards, pretty much totally changing it from what it originally was, and then another one I'm going to end up pulling out um, a piece of white card stock because I just don't like that floral pattern one that's right now in the top left pocket. So those top two 4 by 6 cards are going to be altered. They're not going to sit there just like that. But I do have a nice variety of 3 by 4 cards left. So I have a lot to choose from here. The very first card that I picked out is the one off to the right there. And it says really, really important. And it has like where you can create a list and it has little boxes that you can tick off. But I'm just putting Kaylin's drawing on there. He loves to pull out my iPad and take my, like, I don't know if it's called an eye pencil, but the pencil that you draw on the iPad with. And he likes to open... Um, is it just paint? I think it's just paint. And um, he draws. He finds that to be so much fun. And he's actually pretty, pretty savvy with that thing. He's figured it out before I even really started to explore it. He figured out how to work it and change the settings and change the size of his pencil and the color of his pencil and use the different um, graphics on there. So it's I like to kind of capture anytime he's drawn a picture and leaves it on my iPad, I try to take a picture of it and just kind of keep it because I think it's kind of cute. And it's also easier to include those photos in my project life than it is to actually include things that he has physically drawn or colored. So it's just a smaller scale because you can print the photos smaller. 
There's that card that the bow cat's on that says travel notes. I'm going to include that there. And this card here in the middle that has like that um, peachy pink color. So it's a grid, grid lines on the right side. And then the left side says hello adventure over and over and over again. And this is going to act a little bit like my title card. I don't always have to have a title card on my project life. I sort mine alpha, oh, not alphabetically, chronologically. So, and I use the little tabs in my album. So it'll say like January, February, March, April, May, whatever. And then on the spine of my album, it says the year. So it's very clear as to what time frame it is. Um, so I don't have to have title cards, but I do sometimes include title cards or filler cards that could act as title cards, just like this one is going to. So I have my ticket stubs here from the, it's, we saw the flight of the butterflies 3d show at the, um, uh, museum of natural sciences here in Raleigh. And that's such a fun museum. If you live in the Raleigh area or come to the Raleigh area for vacation or travel or something, go check out that museum. It is a free museum and they have a lot of nice things there. Um, one of them being this 3d theater. Now the 3d theater you have to pay for, but it's fun and it's never crowded. So it's just something different to do. And as you can see, Kaylin and I enjoy it. <laughs> I think there was like one other couple in there with us and that was it. Oh, this is weird. Okay, so I, these photos are from January and it is March right now and I'm wearing the same outfit that I was in that picture. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I just noticed that. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm kind of just trimming things down and placing them since I already knew that I wanted my, um, ticket stubs there I did that card first now here is the one of the cards that I'm altering so I pulled out the washi tape that came in the kit the the gold glittered one but this is the one that does not shed the glitter and I am layering it over that purplish grayish pattern that was on the um it was like a one inch little strip of that pattern I just didn't like it it didn't fit with any of the colors that were in the rest of my layout and it was also another way that I can bring in the gold and make the gold fit well around the page and so I just decided to go ahead and do that there instead of using the card as it was I just didn't like it it just didn't seem right to me so it wasn't the right color and it didn't fit well with the rest of the with the rest of the kit so I altered it I'm using it but I altered it this bottom card is just a kind of light blue light green color with a like a lace pattern on top of it and then the card to the right just says wonderlust it says looking for an adventure um, a couple times and then it says wonderlust so it kind of fits in with the adventure theme yet again now there was this card that just had the number eight on it because it was the August kit and it was that lighter pink color the same one that has the um, hello adventure and just chill um, on that half of the grid card. So it's that same color. So I'm using my photo labels punch from EK Success to punch out different punches out of this card. So I have that same uh, color to be able to use throughout my page. And I'm just using the most of that card. So all I have left are tiny itty bitty scraps that I could just throw away. I went ahead and punched out as much as I could out of that card just to make use of it. I use this tiny little doodle bug design. Um, I think it's called mini paper clip. I think they're so cute. They're tiny. They're so, so cute. I think they're like a half inch or maybe three fourths of an inch high, um, but it's just adorable. So I am including it right here on top of this really, really important card. And it kind of just makes me think of like a little note, like a, cause that's, I use paper clips all the time. I am like crazy organization. I love organization. I love, you should see my office at work. Like it's, <laughs> I have things in folders and sheet protectors and sticky notes all over everything. I just, it's the way I work. It's the way I function. Um, it just, it's me. And so having these little paper clips in here are so cute. And so I stamped out documented on that one of those labels that I punched and then just adding a tiny bit of journaling. And it just has Kaylin's drawing of our family with Walter too. So he had drawn our family and then he added a person. And I was like, well, who is that? He goes, it's Walter, <laughs> which is his cousin. It's my older sister's son, oldest son, I should say. Um, so he drew him in the picture with us too. So he could be part of our family. <laughs> um, I'm adding a little bit more of this gold washi down here at the bottom. I like this washi tape. I don't know what brand it was. It was from Gossamer Blue, the kit, but I don't know if it was um, like from a different, if she got the um, 
washi tape from another company or if it was one that she had made or whatever. <clears throat> but it's really nice because it doesn't shed. It just, it's nice and sparkly, just like any glitter washi tape would be, but it doesn't shed at all, which is really, really nice. I don't think I would really, I don't think I would like the fact that it could shed. That's just, it would annoy me and I probably wouldn't use it. So the fact that this is nice and gold and sparkly, but it has no shedding. Oh, it's perfect. So I put out this tag for my stash and this was given to me. So I don't know what brand it is, but it's a craft tag with a lace doily on it, which is so cute. And it kind of brings in the browns kind of go along with the golds. And then of course I have white all throughout the layout. So it fits right in well. And I'm going to make that my um, little bit of a title card. I'm going to stamp travelogue in the city and then I'm going to use some mini statement stickers from Rosie's studio to, to um, write out Raleigh. Now I also have um, a little bit of journaling down here on this bottom card and it just says Carolina football player at three years old versus six years old. Kalen is really, really good in basketball. That's just what his natural skill is in is basketball, but he's obsessed with football. He loves football. So I have a feeling he'll probably play football as well, just because that's what he, he loves it. But his natural skill is definitely in basketball. There's absolutely no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Basketball is his thing. He eats, sleeps, and breathes basketball, but he just loves loves football. He thinks football is so much fun because you can tackle people. So he has this uniform. It's a Carolina football, um, college football jersey and helmet that he got when he was, when he turned three, I believe. He's tiny there and the jersey hangs down to like almost to his ankles and he's holding the football and it's as big as his head. Um, but he has kept this jersey ever since. And you can see the photo to the right, or the right side of that photo. The um, the jersey barely comes to the bottom of his butt. Like, it's it fits him perfectly now. Um, the helmet fits his head. It doesn't hang down or anything like that. So, my little boy is growing up, and it's so sad. And I put that sticker that says remember. Now, I'm going to layer a few things under that remember. I'm just punching out my travelogue there, right? I tried to stamp it. Um... Well, like if you try to stamp it directly on the on the tag, of course it's not going to come out perfectly. So I just stamped it and then punched it out. And then I'm layering it over another tag that's in that lighter blue color just to kind of bring a little bit of that color here. Again, I know I've already mentioned this, but I love the variety on this layout. I just think it's so much fun. I like how it came together. This kit was really a lot of fun to work with. Um, I have more that I'm going to be sharing with you that you have not seen yet. So I think there's two more layouts after this one that I have done with that Gossamer Blue kit. Um, but it was a lot of fun to work with. I I use it a lot for some 12 by 12 pages. And I definitely could have used more Project Lifestyle pages. But I just don't have that many Project Life photos right now printed out. I have more 12 by 12 layout photos to print it out that I need to complete than I do Project Life. So you're probably going to be seeing both Project Life and 12 by 12 layouts. But you're definitely going to be seeing me use some things that may have been originally designed for Project Life. You're going to start seeing me use some of those things in um, 12 by 12 layouts a little bit more, which could be helpful for those of you who may be like me where you mix Project Life and 12 by 12 layouts, but you just kind of collect supplies. Well, um, I'm going to be using some of those collected supplies in 12 by 12 layouts as well, because I'm not switching the kit I'm working with, um, but I am just changing how I work with that kit. So instead of it all being Project Life spreads, I'm, I'm making it work with 12 by 12 layouts as well. So, um, and that's, I'm, I'm not biased to using Project Life kits to just Project Life or using just 12 by 12. 12 kits for just 12 by 12 layouts. To me, getting a kit is to have stuff new in your stash to work with, regardless of what type of layout that you're creating. So <clears throat> it seems only natural to me that if I have 12 by 12 layouts to do, then that is what I will be doing. And that's what you guys will be seeing from me. Um, I just hope that you guys find it useful to be able to see how I use the different kits and What's not useful is seeing how much I struggle with the stinking sticker down here at the bottom. I'm going to layer it on top of a little tag. <clears throat> it seemed like it was blending in with that wood veneer just a little bit, which is dumb. I mean, I know it's not. So just bear with my fiddling here at the bottom. Eventually I'll get settled with it and it will stay right there and I won't mess with it anymore. <clears throat> 
I wanted to use this wood veneer heart because it would have been super cute, but it was just too bulky on top of another wood veneer in the pocket. So I'm going to use a few of these little enamel dots and they are the perfect peachy pink color. They match those labels and that card that I already used with that same color. They match it perfectly. And these are from Rosie's Studio. <clears throat> These were given to me by a dear sweet friend, and I love them. I use them a lot, and I think I've put them on every card here. <laughs> I'm going to kind of take a few of them off because I did realize that it was quite excessive for me to have um, these enamel dots on every single card here. So I take a few of them off, and I decide, okay, yeah, that's that's good. Right now it's still showing right beside travel notes, but those are going to move. It's not going to stay right beside travel notes. I think that looks a little too... Um, what do you call it? Like too contrived or whatever? Like it just looks too, I don't know, too much. So it's going to be moved. Now, true to my normal scrappy fashion, I am using all my little bits and pieces from the papers that I have cut. I like to have these little strips of papers. I really don't throw anything away till I'm done with a kit. Like for real, for real, because you can see my little, um, little strips of paper that are not even an eighth of an inch wide and I use them. I use them as much as I possibly can on the cards. I think it just adds a little bit of color. You know, sometimes when you need to add a little something, those little strips of paper are perfect. Like I had layered one right under the word wonderlust and it just kind of gives a little bit of definition to that side of that card. It's just a little something different. Um, but I like to use the little scrappy bits like that. Um, and I've mentioned this before and I've really started thinking about this quite seriously here recently. I'm going to be offering a class about using up, like using scraps in different ways that you can use scraps. And using the little bits and pieces like that, those little strips of paper, those are just ways that I like to use scraps. I, in my opinion, <clears throat> we spend money on the supplies that we have and we create. And part of creating is, to me anyways, is using things that may not seem very useful and finding a way to use them. So like the little tiny itty bitty bits and pieces of scraps or packaging or things like that, those are all useful pieces. You just may have to find a different way to use them. Sorry, my hair is like laying on the table. I don't know what I was doing. I must've been talking to somebody. Hmm. But I will move in just a moment. I apologize for that. I usually don't have my hair down when I'm scrapbooking because I, I don't like it showing like in the camera, hanging in the camera. So sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> but anyways, so eventually I will have a class up and it's going to be on using scraps in your scrapbooking. So um, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I really want to do it, but I hope it's something that people would find useful. I've actually already looked into what platform I would use and the pricing that I would offer and kind of what things I would have in the, in the um, class, like what topics I would include in the class. So let me know if that's something you guys are even slightly interested in because I would really like to do that. But of course it's not worth doing if nobody's interested in watching and them. So anyways, <clears throat> sidetracked. So I'm going through the rest of the little bits and pieces that are in the kit to see if there's anything else that I want to include. These are the chipboard pieces and I'm not going to use very many of them. I'm only really going to use one and I'm going to use that one that says, so this happened, but it's not going to go where it is right now. It's going to be moved over to the photo of us in the 3D theater. And then I'm going to keep these other chipboard pieces for another layout. I could have made them work, yes, but the layout didn't need them, and I felt that I could keep those. It was just enough to be able to use on another layout, and to be able, there were just enough pieces left to be able to use them on another layout and really be able to add to that to the other layout. So I'm going to keep the last few stickers and the last few chipboard pieces and use them on a on an upcoming layout that you guys will see in just a couple days. I've already got it completed. I've actually already completed a couple more layouts that we'll be posting up here shortly. So make sure that you are subscribed and that you get my notifications so that you can see whenever I post videos. I've also updated my blog here recently to where um, it's not quite so busy. I have less 
things on the blog, um, or less, less extra things I should say on the blog, which makes it very helpful and very easy to find what you're actually looking for. So if you haven't checked out my blog, I always have the link for that, for that blog, as well as my Facebook group and everything else in the description box below. So if you are not a member of either of those, make sure you go check those out as well. If that's something you might be interested in. I'm also using the last little bit and piece of this card and punching a few more labels out. I figured it would be nice to go ahead and have the labels ready. And it's also just, again, once again, using up the little scrap bits and pieces that I have sitting around that I will not throw away. So it's, a, it's just another good way to use those little bits and pieces. So I'm, I'm punching the heck out of this card too. There's going to be nothing left. I wish I had shown you so you could see it, but it's really literally slivers of outlines of um, labels. So that completes today's layout. I hope you've enjoyed this and until next time, happy scrapping and I will see you guys on Saturday for Stash Kit Saturday. All right guys, have a great afternoon. Bye.